It is Mike Kaufman. We're going to call this video 4B in my series on how Google Forms can be used to more efficiently record your observations of students uh, in class. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up forms uh, for individual students to record, again, your observations of how they're doing uh, in your class. All right, so I have in my drive a folder now set up with documents for each one of my students. Definitely a little bit tedious, right? But remember that you just need to set this up one time uh, in the year or maybe one time during a certain unit and so forth. And then once you have this set up, I'm gonna go into my form and I'm gonna build my form. Now I've renamed it period one, student growth. My first question I'm gonna set up is students. Now again, I'm gonna leave it blank because that's where doc appender is gonna come in and they're gonna add in uh, the students for me and then I set up maybe some behaviors that I was looking for if this were to be used to record uh, your observation student behaviors uh, I broke it down into behaviors that are mastered and behaviors that are in need of improvement and again I'm using the checkbox question type in Google form that way I can click off as many um, as I want All right now once my form is set up again I'm gonna go into my add-ons and I'm going to open up doc appender in the sidebar. The first step is to find the folder that I want to use. It is going to put them in order of the folders that I most recently uh, opened up, which in this case is period one. But of course, if you can't find it, you can always uh, search the name of the folder. Click select, and then I'm going to click next, and select the question that I want to attached to it. Now again sometimes you have to click refresh list and I'm again looking for doc appender to connect to my student documents. So that's the question I'm looking for. Save and populate. Once you do that you'll notice over on the left side the different documents that I set up for each of my students will automatically appear in the question. Click next and what questions do I want to attach in the document? Timestamps, master behaviors need of improvement, and again, I'm going to take a look at, you know, the different types that I want and maybe separate vertical tables might be my choice this time. And I'm going to click Enable. Once I've done that, I'm going to Preview just to make sure that it works nice. Let's maybe pick Jen. It's a great attitude, comes prepared, um, but I'd love to see her take some more risks. Click Submit. We'll go over there and take a look at and there it is, right right at 12.05, the different comments that I made separated by commas. If I were to do report cards, I could easily just copy this and paste it in and so forth. Now, one other cool trick that we can do. Let's say we want to give the students to be able to respond to some of that comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new question, and I might just make a generic like student uh, reflection. And then, right, when I go and preview, right, so again, I'm gonna pick Jen, great attitude, comes prepared, take more risks, I'm gonna leave this blank, I'm gonna click submit. And now, oops, doc appender, it's an easy fix, I'm gonna go back in there, and we wanna add in a new question, right? So let's save and populate, good. Let's go back to next. Um, student reflection, I wanna include that as well. Save changes. And now when I go in preview, let's, it should work this time, we're clicking on Jen, great attitude, always prepared, take more risks, leave this blank, hit submit. And now you'll notice when it pops up in here, there's a blank space there. Now if I share my document with the student Jen, they can then reflect on it. So if you're doing this per bimester or per unit, they could go in there and they could reflect as well and have a dialogue with you using this Google Doc. So it's an additional level of feedback for the students, um, something I definitely recommend trying out if it fits the needs that you're looking for. All in all, there's another way to set up Doc Appender using individual student documents instead of one class one. Again, another look at improving and making recording of your student observations more efficient. Good luck.